Sure, today we partnered with the Estonian Defense League and conducted an anti-tank range. Uh, it consisted of combining uh, our firepower and having coordinated fires between our 120 millimeter cannons from our uh, Abram tanks, our tow missiles from our Bradleys, uh, javelins, the Estonians Milan twos, uh, and basically just created a, a range that coordinated our fires and simulated attacking a, an advancing enemy force and uh, basically retrograding from a uh, primary defensive line to an ultimate uh, or a, sub, a secondary defensive line and just demonstrating our firepower and coordination. Uh, for Team, Ka or Team Estonia and Chaos Company, we've actually been doing a lot of uh, training with the Estonians in the last two weeks, uh, or a correction, sorry, the last month. And uh, this, I would say, is probably the biggest culminating or the biggest uh, interoperability mission that we've trained with them, uh, where there's uh, a big, uh, a lot of personnel on the ground. Uh, the other one we had was our winter camp where we actually did force on force with the Estonian 2nd uh, Battalion Scouts. And that, so that was a terrific training exercise with them. I think it's very important to train with our NATO allies because it shows our support uh, for that alliance and in the event that we do need to uh, come to their defense or come to their aid, that interoperability, that understanding of the way they fight and really understanding and knowing that we really have the same capabilities, that we speak the same language, that we all are in the same profession. Uh, there's honestly more similarities and uh, un an, a, a common understanding picture that's already there and it's really just coming to understand that and see that that uh, makes this training so important. So it's knowing that the framework's already there for us to work with them and then just putting it into practice.